I'm going to show you how to use the Elementor WordPress Builder with the Advanced Custom Fields plugin to populate your own data. And by data, I mean things like, for example, this page here, I am building some herb properties for an herbal database for a personal project of mine. So a lot of these items that I am putting into WordPress are a custom post type where I go in and populate a bunch of research that I've created for these herbs, different fields. And from there, I want it to display on a website, but I don't want to have to manually create a page for each of these herbs. I'd rather it just be a post. I've got all of these different custom fields you can see here, and I want them to display on a website. The issue I was having is when you create a WYSIWYG field, which for those of you that aren't aware, WYSIWYG means what you see is what you get. It's basically whatever format I put in here, whether I'm bolding or italicizing or creating unordered lists, I want it to show on the website that way too, rather than just a, a simple text box that has no formatting. The issue I was running into is, for example, like this medicinal preparation section, I've got some bolding going on here. Um, obviously spacing between the lines and it was showing up as just one big paragraph. There was nothing separating these sections. And normally the way that I set these up, and I'll show you real quick as an example, is the post info, I guess widget is what you call these. So that we'll try this one, for example. So if I stick this one in here, by default, it puts these fields in here. We're going to take all of these out and we're going to change the type of field to custom because again, this is a custom field. And then under the custom label, you're going to choose dynamic tags, which from here is where you scroll all the way down to your ACF field. Now that by itself is not going to do anything. You have to click on it again. And this is this part's never very user intuitive. I don't understand why this is this way, but you click on it again and then you get a key. So you can click a property, like for this one would be bot botanical name. Now, if I were to update this, I'm going to show you. It's going to display it twice because now I have it listed twice. So I'm going to refresh this under botanical name. We're going to see this. So now we got this word twice in here. Now, it works great for fields that are just text like that. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. But let's say I wanted to do, which was it? It was the medicinal preparation. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same here. So we set our ACF field, and now we're going to go under key, and this is going to be medicinal preparation. So that's the field that I want to display. So now we're going to refresh the page, and you're going to see this section doubled. But now it's just one big paragraph. There's no way for Elementor through the advanced custom fields to display the HTML structure. It doesn't parse it that way. However, what I found, I'm going to go ahead and delete this box, is if you do a simple short code, see how this is just a regular short code, it'll then parse the HTML. In the advanced custom field, the name of the short code is just the name of the field. So any of these, say you go into the botanical name, maybe that's the field you want to display here. So you would just copy this, this name, and you're going to go in the ACM fields, and you're going to go in between these two quotes and paste it there. For example, it would be that field. I'm not going to do that because that's not the section we're talking about here. And then it'll display this section here. It's got the bolding. It's got this, the line breaks and everything. Now, the only issue that I found so far with doing it this way, and I haven't experimented with this, is I have a couple of fields that are lists, and it's just showing the IDs for those lists also here. And also for my references. It's just showing array. So I'm still working on that part. But as far as like these sections that have HTML embedded in them, the way that I found to get around that is to just do the short code. If you do create your own custom post type and you want it to be something like an herb database like this, and you do have formatting that you want to display, this is an easy workaround for it. Just get a short code. It's ACF field equals and then quotes in the short code field, and then just plop them in wherever you want that information to show for your custom post type. And that should be all that you need to do. If you found this video helpful and you want other Elementor and advanced custom post types, 
then please subscribe. I'll probably be working through a couple of videos like this that will allow me to share the information that I've learned while using Elementor.